Hello and welcome to another video by Adrian Davy from Pure Electric. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the TIS, so the Test Instrument Solutions Lamp Adapters. I've had a set of lamp adapters, not this particular brand, but a set of lamp adapters as long as I can remember. I think they're absolutely essential for safe isolation uh, and for doing things like EICRs um, because you don't need to gain access to live parts. So the test, the, um, the lamp adapters themselves come in this zip up case, soft zip up, soft zip up case. And inside we've got uh, an adapter, E27 adapter, which is a large Edison screw. These are handed, so live and neutral, because in most instances, the live pin is the center pin. So that when you're screwing the lamp in, you can't touch the outside. It won't be live. A uh, small Edison pin, which is the E14. Then we've got large bayonet. Okay, so that's the B22. We've got the B15, which is the small bayonet. Okay. And we've got the GU10. Now, as far as these go, these actually feel like got quite good quality. They feel quite weighty for what they actually are. Um, and the actual depth to them is, is quite high, quite tall. So that when you're, I don't know if you can see this, if you're screwing them into something, there's actually quite a bit of depth there. So you can get all the way into something and it's still got a bit of a sort of chamfered edge to it as well. So it can get quite deep. I've got another brand that I use from time to time. Um, I've got another brand which I use from time to time, in fact I probably shouldn't show it off. Okay, so I've got another brand that I use from time to time and you can see that these are actually quite a bit deeper, okay, to be able to get into places. They're also quite considerably smaller. I mean, look at the size of that, it's quite, quite large. Um, so, you know, if I held that up against there, I'd say they're, they're quite a bit smaller, which can only be a good thing. I mean, size in a toolbox is at a premium, isn't it? So, um, they feel good. And anything that's gonna keep us safe can only be a good thing. If I wanted to use them, for instance, to do safe isolation, I could select a safe isolation um, voltage indicator. And then because they've got these four mil jacks, okay, so that will work with the larger tips on this TIS859, which do detach, I should point out. I can't get my fingers on them right now. Let me try this one. So these do detach to go down smaller, but the actual larger terminal fits quite nicely into here. They also fit the standard four mil leads, test leads off your multifunction tester. So they go in quite nicely as well, don't drop out. If I was gonna use this just primarily for safe isolation, I would select my voltage indicator connect that into here. What would be nice is if they were just a little bit wider so that they fitted like that without being slightly on the piss. But that's a very small niggle, you know, I wouldn't be pulling them up on that. Right, now if I plug this in, I've got 230 volts. Now, you can't, if you can't see the lights, you can hear the uh, vibrating sound to indicate that I've got voltage present. If I switch that off, the indication stops. My lamps have gone out. So again, that's gone on again. And if I did that from the consumer unit for safe isolation, I would find the correct fuse. And there we go, the correct MCB and, and uh, the circuit's now safe to work on. And now I would go through my safe isolation uh, and prove that it's dead. Okay, Let's put that back on again. So perfect combination there. And I think 
I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that this is only one of a few testers that will actually fit into these. Okay, um, I haven't seen it before, so I actually quite like the fact that these have got these the option of the fatter tips on. So that's the TIS 859, which I'm going to do a review on as well. Um, if you're doing EICRs and you're testing class two equipment, so class one equipment, which you want to get an earth reading off of, okay, earth fault loop path, then these are ideal because you can actually, I mean, imagine that this is metal. It is on a metal box, so I will get to get a reading from the back of it, okay? Um, but imagine that, you know, the end user, that's where they're gonna get the electric shock from. They're gonna get electric shock, not from inside, where most people take a reading from, they're gonna get it from the outside. So surely the best place to get the most accurate reading for an earth fault loop path is actually off of the light itself. So what you would do in this instance, and I know this is a plastic lamp, but it is on a metal back box, uh, conduit box, so I will be able to get a reading off of it. I'll switch my, my multi-function tester to earth fault loop impedance, no trip, because I've got an RCD on there connect that onto the actual light fitting itself and then when I can oops, make sure that's right. yep there we go that's better and then when I connect this in so that's the one way round I spin it and now my multi-function test is going to work out what about that for loop impedances so I haven't even had to take the light fitting down. So when you're doing an EICR, you know, imagine how much time that's going to save you and, and damage as well. I mean, we've all had it where, so I've got 1.55 ohms off of that, which is, you know, fair enough for the, the length of run, the fact that this is on an extension lead, etc., etc. But, you know, we've all had it where we're um, doing an EICR and we're dreading taking down that light fitting because we can see that it's been decorated in or it's been plastered in or it just looks like it's going to be too heavy to drop down or an absolute nightmare this is going to save you a ton of time you know um i've had a set of these in my toolbox for many many years now i wouldn't be without a set of socket uh, light adapters should i say I like, I like the fact that these are slimmer, like I said, and yeah, I mean, that is pretty much about all you can say about those. They do go up to 300 volts, so you will be able to use them for insulation resistance testing over 250 volts. So you wouldn't be able to do your 500 volt test from them, but for everything else, happy days. Well, I hope that has been of some use to you, and I strongly suggest that lots of you guys, especially doing the EICRs or safe isolation, invest in a set of these adapters and uh, keep yourself safe. Take care. Cheers.